uh, the cell itself is about 15, 17 foot high. Uh, so I need about 20 foot of um, vertical clearance. Uh, and it looks like a big box. So that's got thermal panels all around it. Uh, it's got climate control and sensors all through it. So we're keeping the temperature exactly how we want it uh, with no thermal variations throughout the cell. And that's super important because we're going to need to get breeze, uh, sort of a wind flow or airflow throughout it as well. You don't want stagnant air. You want the absolute regulated temperature throughout the whole cell um, and the humidity to be bang on. So from an, uh, an air point of view, that's, that's the holy grail. And that's the bit that a lot of indoor vertical farms are really struggling with is keeping temperature control. We've got some amazing IP around how um, we keep the diodes cooled as well, because those diodes for LEDs, we use LED lighting, um, can get pretty hot. So we've got a, a, a really amazing temperature control system that keeps those nice and cool as well. So you're not getting hot spots throughout the climate soil, which can create problems. And also it doesn't you get away from the leaf burn side of things that some systems can do in terms of vertical. Um, it just enables a grower to go, here's a plug and play system that will take my plant from here to here and do it consistently with no crop losses. So we're pumping CO2 into the climate cell um, and by keeping a positive pressure in there, means if you do have to open, like one of the trays open for the, uh, the doors open for the tray to go in, um, or one of the trays to go in, the air flows out. So what that means, um, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot of air. It's not like it's going to knock you off your feet, sort of breeze, um, but it's just enough so something can't go in. And that's a, that could be mould, mildew, uh, any sort of pest or anything. There's enough of an airflow of that, almost an air curtain coming out that stops anything from going in. So you keep the the surrounding environment, surrounding the plant from the, you know, the base up, not pure, as pure as you can possibly get. Um, and then underneath that depends on the customer and how they want to grow, but, you know, a rock wall or a coir or some sort sitting in there um, and the water will flow through it sort of bioponics type style, which is about a one degree fall on those, um, on those tables that go through that system. Uh, and it's all automated. You can effectively replace about 30 people with one person for six hours a week. And if you put, I mean, we can put leafy greens and all sorts of stuff on these things. Um, you know, but the best ROI comes from cannabis. And um, yeah, there's been no crop losses at all in any of the grows that they've done. Um, for that reason, it it's goes in pure, it comes out pure. Um, so you still have to have environmental controls on either side of the input and the output as well, but that's easy enough to do. We've got some partners to help with that if the customer doesn't have that. Um, it's a, you lose a crop of basil, a couple of grand. You lose a crop of cannabis, <laughs> it's, it gets expensive pretty quick. Um, so it creates that, it creates a bit more security. It's almost like an insurance policy in a lot of cases. Um, and being that climate cells are a bit smaller than your normal kind of greenhouse, you get, I think, um, some energy efficiencies and, and almost a better guarantee without the, the airflow dead zones or the thermal dead zones that you can get in most vertical farming. And to be blunt, the vertical farming that I've seen, um, for the most part, there's a, f there's a few around, um, but it's still pretty rudimentary and a lot, very manual it seems to be um and there's automated stuff around on a single level but on multiple a multiple level vertical farm that still seems to be pretty manual people you know walking around and not walking around but driving scissor lifts through you know effectively what is pallet racking you know super rudimentary and there's got a, an hvac system in there that probably isn't really up to the job the airflow hasn't been really designed properly around it so you're gonna have a lot of thermal um, and airflow dead zones which is not ideal for growing you know, what is a very specialised um, crop.